Well, 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 it's been a year. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Super Adventure Box for 2019. We've been on quite the adventures over the past year. Bract has actually now beaten the game. And just in time for the Super Adventure Festival to return. You can see here on the top right in gold, it's written, it says three weeks remaining. This is a kind of nice little thing. I don't know when the devs started doing this, but actually telling you how long you've got to play a certain festival. So uh, this does mean there's been some, update, uh, uh, some updates. Moto has gone through, added a couple of new things, including two upgrades for us to get, which I really want to show you guys. I also want to show you guys this, which I don't think we showed off last year. I can't remember if it was in the game or not. I don't think it was. The Super Adventure chair? Uh, it's pretty nice, right? So we create a little slice of the Super Adventure box to uh, live in even while we're out interior. I think the way Bract is sitting is kind of strange. Like, <laughs> he looks quite spread-legged there, but maybe it's just his outfit. Oh, no, he's sitting with his legs crossed, essentially. His feet are pressed together. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I really, really like this chair. There's so much detail on it. Um, we're going to head on in. And we're going to learn that Moto has given us now the ability to upgrade our bomb and to upgrade our whip. But we have to go on an adventure to do it. First of all, I'll also note, of, in the spirit of completionism, there is also this new vendor here, the Super Adventure Box Weekly Trader. Uh, and this guy lets us turn our bauble bubbles into genuinely pretty nice stuff. So mystic coins for crafting, legendary shards for some legendary weapons, or even Tyrian exchange vouchers. What these let you do is get du dungeon currencies and other fun things. Even without playing them, you can get it purely from the Super Adventure Box and your Bauble Bubbles. He you can only buy a few each week, and then you have to wait for it to restock. But it's a pretty nice new little feature that they've just added. So, yeah, let's get on in uh, once again to the Super Adventure Box and see what new adventures await. And in fact, it's two adventures. Alright, so as we move on up, we get to come through the door. Uh, as you remember, last year's new addition was uh, the race around the hub that we could play in, uh, which I've obviously already shown you guys. Well, there are now races in every single zone. So let's get this out of the way with, first of all, I'm going to head back into World 1 and Zone 1, where our adventure very first began, way back when. And I'll show you what the first race looks like. So the races only exist on normal mode. Not infantile and not tribulation. Uh, only on normal mode. So let's move on through. We'll go to zone one here. Obviously, we haven't done a playthrough of Trib. But uh, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe that will be the 2020 series. We'll see. So we'll move on through. And uh, basically, as a part of all the other festivals in the game, you might not know this, but there is a uh, curious little racing NPC. It's a Choya. A Choya is a species Bract hasn't really met any uh, any of just yet, interior side. But uh, there's a little Choya that brings races to the various festivals. And he, for the first time this year in 2019, has been beamed into the box. You'll see that his first starting location is right here, Gordon the Racing Choya. And in every single zone, he's now here. This feels so cool. It's, it reminds me of like being in Super Mario 64 where you get like one star, then you return later and you see that like a new NPC or something's appeared. It's like, oh, look, there's something's changed. So yeah, uh, this is Gordon. You'll see he looks unlike any creature we fought so far. He's kind of got a cool ninja outfit. He's basically a cactus creature. That's what a Choi is. And uh, what we're going to do is speak to him to start an adventure. He says grumble. We can't really speak to him. It says collect all the magic coins. Sounds like a super adventure. So speaking of uh, Super Mario 64, this does feel a little bit like that to me in that it seems to be a nod back to the collect eight red coins in that game and, you know, the various spin-offs as the years went by. So, uh, yeah, if we click this, you'll see we get the adventure user interface. And you'll see that I've already tried this today. I came 175th out of all Guild Wars 2 players which I think is pretty good, but even that was not good enough to get the gold reward. You have to beat the course. You have to collect all the coins in two minutes. And so that's genuinely really hard. Basically, the coins are going to be spread throughout the whole level. And we'll see what we do. My last time was 2 minutes, 19 seconds. So I was 20 seconds off of gold. Let's see if we can get it this time. So we move on through. You'll see on the top right, we get a timer. I'd like to point out that at any point, if you don't like how you're, pro uh, you're, you're doing, if you, you're progressing, you can just click the X up here and reset. It will teleport you back to the beginning of the whole zone. That's not something that was really available before now. But yeah, you can reset the whole thing. I think you can run through the map, kill all the enemies, and then reset, and then sort of do the race again without being hit by snakes and stuff, uh, which maybe you want to do. So here we go. We'll click play, and we'll try again. Um, so we're going to collect this coin. 
But these coins, I think, are new. I haven't seen any coins like this in the Super Adventure book so far. The furniture shops had, like, the yellow coins. But I don't even think these are just a recolor of those. They, they seem to be a little bit more squat, a little bit thicker than those. So, yeah, we basically just want to go as fast as possible. Basically through the level again. So, there we got hit by a monkey. It's pretty bad. Basically, we're going through the, uh, the, the level again. But we are also encouraged to go slightly off of the beaten path every now and then. Which would, you know, not be the most efficient route directly to the end. But we have to for the coin. So, like, this one for here, for example. I climbed on top of this mountain to grab that coin. I really like this feature because over the years, lots of players have speed run these maps. Just because they're trying to get their dailies quickly for some of the loot. Um, and, you know, some of the super weapons that you can get at the end. Or just to challenge one another. I myself did a video series challenging people to speed run this once. Um... And so we're all used to speed running these and going through really quickly and maybe even tribulation mode speed runs. But now it's 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 not the same as that. It's a slight twist because you have these slight deviations from the main path. And I just think that's really nice. It adds a different twist. While we've sort of done this playthrough. Oh, God, I messed up here. We are definitely not getting gold on this, by the way, guys. While we are... Um uh, while we've done a series on normal modes, and you guys have seen that version through the map, there's kind of different ways to play if you're in Tribulation, and a different way to play if you're in... So hold on, we're going to go this way this time, and up here. Uh, and if you're in Infantile mode. Well now, with these races, it's kind of another way to play again. It's almost like... I don't want to go as far as to say it's a new difficulty mode, because it's not. But it's kind of like normal mode plus. It's like another flavour of playing the game on normal. You know, being encouraged to jump onto this tree. I've never really done until now in 2019 when we're doing this. Or even that slope we were on earlier. I've never really done until now in 2019. So let's jump round up here. And the last coin. You'll notice we don't have to beat the cage for it. Is right here. And oh, I did do better. But I'm still seven seconds away from gold. So there you have it. Uh, and I could click reset now. And whoom. Bract will get teleported right back to the start. And we can just try again. You can just go over and over and over. Or get halfway through and not feel like it's a very good run. And try again. Pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. That's that's basically one of the new features. Now, I'm somewhat tempted to show you where every single place Gordon appears is. But you kind of get the gist. You kind of get the idea. Maybe uh, at some point I can do all the races. We'll see whether that's what you guys are looking for. But there are much more interesting things I want to do on top of that now also. There is an achievement. So let's see here. If I go to my achievement panel, we go to festivals. Um, and we go to world one. You'll see that there's this one here called Master of Coins. To get a gold award in each time challenge. So we've got the zone one, one to do, which I just showed you and failed. There's one in zone two and one in zone three. So there's this achievement you can get and the equivalent achievement here. But you'll see that there's this other one here. This isn't worth any AP. It's just called Super Adventurer's Quest. Find secret items in the adventure box to trade your way to a new upgrade. Now, this is what we're going to be playing today. I can only do this once per account. So, I've never done this before. The update only just came in. And if I try to do it early to learn about it and then show you afterwards, I won't be able to because you can only do it once. So, we're going to shoot from the hip here, guys, and go for it. This quest, once we complete, will give us a new upgrade that was previously not available. There's an upgrade now sneakily added into World 1 here. And there's an upgrade sneakily added into World 2 here, which I want to show you guys for today. So, uh, we have to go in order on these. First of all, we're looking for the extra tiara. And it says it's buried at the top of the tree at the very beginning. Okay, so, the very beginning would be out here, wouldn't it? But there's mul multiple trees. So, maybe it does mean in the sunny glade. So, let let's go back into the sunny glade. I know that there's one very distinct tree there, and we'll see whether uh, we can find something. So, it said it was buried as well, right? Which means we're probably going to want to use our shovel upgrade to uh, dig it out. Alright, so we're back. <clears throat> Might have been more efficient to do this on our first visit in, but hey, I kind of wanted to go back to the hub. So yeah, we do have this tree. We pull our way all the way up. Tribulation mode encourages you to climb on this, so I'm quite used to it. 
Well, if we go to the very top of this, this is a tree at the very beginning, right? And we're at the top. There we go. Nice. Okay, it worked. My instinct paid off here. So, uh, there. We got out of that the extra tiara. It looks like we didn't actually get to see the item as a drop. It, it looks like we just got some baubles. It was just kind of the standard chest animation. That's a bit of a shame. But, uh, hey, I guess that's fine. So, what I'm going to do here is... Click Super Adventures Quest. I'm going to click the little I button here, which is going to toggle it to be available in the top right of my screen. So I can just quickly click that to go immediately back to it at any time. So that's the tiara. Next, we have another progeny tip to use the bomb to open a cave in the sunny glade. Well, there's a ton of caves in the sunny glade. Which one's it going to be? And do we have to dig or are we going to just be able to press F on something? So we're looking for the auspicious hat. Huh. Um, I guess we'll go for it. By the way, these progeny tips, I'm pretty sure there's once again a reference to old school gaming. The idea of buying a gaming magazine and getting a pro like Nintendo tip or something. Right, so use the bomb to open a cave. Well, there's the waterfall cave right here. Uh, we might have to do a bit of uh, judicious cutting here. Because who knows how many caves I'll have to explore. We obviously have already visited every single one. So in this in this new episode of the LP, I don't I don't want to basically retread a ton of old ground. But maybe I'll check every cave and then uh, we'll see what we've got. This is that really irritating jump. So I'll see you guys in a second. So a funny thing I'm actually now realizing is Bract is super low on baubles. And we obviously spend baubles to bomb things to get the caves open. So I'm actually taking the time now to kill the monkeys and things. And make sure we <laughs> actually get our stuff. Uh, so the next secret cave was behind this checkpoint. So let's check this one. Okay. <clears throat> oh! Hold on, there's an NPC in here. This must be right. This has got to be it. Hold on, let's get these. I was almost more excited about getting the baubles here. Hold on. Okay, so this is good because this means I don't have to randomly dig in all of them. Oh, so there's actually a, a fancy proprietor. Hello. Oh, what do they say? I will trade a hat for a tiara. Ah, so this is why we have to do things in order. We get the tiara at the uh, tree and we're going to trade it for the hat. Which I guess then we trade for the crown and then all the way up. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I, fine. I'll trade the hat for the tiara. I will trade this hat, this tiara I dug up. <laughs> what What was that other comment then? Our decline dialogue was, I have too many hats. Thanks for your business. You're welcome. <laughs> I love that the uh, dialogue system within Moto's box is so like janky and weird. It kind of le lets the, the real world devs of the, the Super Adventure box not, not have to try that hard with dialogue. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So now we've got the hat. Does that mean it is actually an item in our inventory? Or is it just... I guess it's just following the achievement progress. Okay, so next one. We can drain the improper water using the bomb. Ah, now this I remember very clearly. This is that secret room where you throw the bomb... It drains the poison away and you can jump down. Really fun one. That was actually in zone two. So I guess let's hit our button, go back to the hub, and I'll see you guys there. So here, I'll uh, I'll do something fun as well while we're at it. You'll notice that this is where Gordon is now in this zone. So let's grab th him and let's move on. And uh, as I progress through this map, I don't know whether we'll get all the coins and properly go for it. Did I miss that one? No, I got it. Um... Uh, but I can at least show you what this is like a bit. You can see them out here. This uh, little course as well is kind of tricky in that some of the coins are really sneaky. For example, in this little section here, one of the coins is hiding at the top of this piece of wood here. Now, if you don't remember to get that by coming under the bottom, because you'll have so much muscle memory for going elsewhere, it can totally, you can just fly by it. Also, this hole here is really tricky, so you've got to be careful of that. So nice, grab that. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to finish this because at some point I'm going to have to take the detour to drain the water. But, uh, yeah, we get a little glimpse anyway. And we can do that for each of the zones. So here, if you look, um, there's a coin all the way up there by that monkey. Which would want us to go onto that mushroom there. But that's not necessarily the quickest way forward. So I'm going to say goodbye to the, the, the blue coins and just climb up here instead. All right, here's the pool. So... Let's read it again. It definitely said drain the improper water, right? Okay, using the bomb. So it's not going to be in this shop here. So let's throw this over here. And then we want to, like, catch the hole somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. Maybe it's over here on the right. We have 32 balls now, so it shouldn't be so bad. Let's try over here. 
There it is. Got it. Okay. That's weird. My memory for where that was was like totally off here. All right, here we go. So, shopkeeper, do you want to trade me anything? Oh, there you go. Look, look, look. I lost my hat in the water. Do you have a backup hat? Yes, I do, man. Also, do you think he's the same guy that appeared here? Oh, that's really clever. I thought we'd have to go in there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Here, I have an extra hat. Thank you. I do not need this crown now. You can have it. <laughs> so, what? Well, he was wearing a lovely crown, was he? Beautiful. Uh, what do we say? How polite. That's interesting. All right. Uh, so, secret key. A secret key. Progeny tip. Climb down carefully in the hub. So, it's got hub written in all caps. Uh, I guess there's no... Here it had Sunny Glade in all caps. I don't think that really matters, to be honest. But the hub is the the hub, right? It's this place here. So, it said climb down carefully in the hub. Well, so there's the cave under the fountain in the hub. So, maybe they hid something in there. Let's go have a look. Being careful not to fall down too far, as I often do. Okay, so I guess we're looking for an, a new NPC now. Well, this doesn't look... Too good. Let's try and look on the floor, maybe? There's never really been a good reason to come down into these puddles. It's mostly just, oh, you messed up a jump, so now you're wandering around. It'd be kind of nice for them to add something extra. It doesn't really seem like there's much here, though. Let's try... Okay, so if it's not in this cave, maybe we can try the perimeter, like the ring of cliffs on the outside. Worst case scenario, we can become a bee dog and fly around and, like, go really low. It does say climb down carefully, though, so I don't think that we have to be a bee dog for that. The bee dog is tied to the race and stuff, so it'd be it would be interesting if the 2019 update did actually tie into the 2018 update. I think that would be really fun, but uh, somehow I doubt that that's what they've gone with. Let's jump on the mushroom, climb up to the... This will take us to the clouds. I'm going to jump down the clouds. And, well, uh, this is an okay vantage point, I guess. No, I think I'm going to drop down uh, over here. And let's just let's just go to the edge, I guess, and just look around the edges. Because there's all these, like, places like this, right? So maybe... Oh, wow, it actually worked. You know what? I was so ready to cut there. In fact, I might leave that... That's a bit waffly. I didn't really say much too interesting, but I might leave that whole section in. That's awesome. Look, we found it. Okay, hold on. Oh, so this is... Is that... I think that's somewhat a new platform. I think when they added the, uh, the, the blue coins, they've sometimes added tiny little extensions and little platforms and additions. I think this is new. I don't remember this ever being here, but I can't remember ever really looking here either. So, hey, who knows? It's a tribulation cloud. Oh, wow. This angry cloud is training. With better equipment, it would be ready for... Oh, okay, hold on. I thought <laughs> I thought he was speaking just in third person, but no, it's the narrator. With better equipment, it would be ready for tribulation mode. What? He wants a crown to increase his authority. <laughs> tribulation mode is difficult. Oh, my lord. Okay, all right, fine. Have the crown for your authority. I guess a crown does give someone authority. The angry cloud gives you a secret key in return for the upgrade. I could not wear the crown. This is a good trade. Why could I not wear the crown? <laughs> okay, it's a good trade. Thank you. So we've got the secret key now. So the key, I guess, here will be used right at the end for the incredible reward. Use the bomb to find the secret cannon at the start of the Kingdom of Fungus. Now, we remember this. This is that crazy poison maze I showed you guys in one of the final episodes. Uh, so, or at least that's that's where I think it's saying. The secret cannon, that's where it throws you to. So, maybe there's, like, something we spend the key... Instead of trading the key to someone, maybe we actually use the key. But that's going to be in the third zone. So, sorry, Brax, you're probably going to have to jump off here, mate. I don't think there's a way up. I'll see you guys over there. Oh, I love this map. The sound of track on this map is brilliant. I don't know. I always get really heavy, warm nostalgia on this map. Much more than I do from the happy maps, even though somehow they seem more... Uh... I think it's just because I have so many memories of this one. And I spent so long on this one for so long. Right, so we want to come up around here. Uh, I, I will note, by the way, uh, all of this can be... The, the, the uh, blue coins... 
the new races, which, by the way, we don't see the start to the next race just yet. I must be a little bit deeper in the level. Uh, oh, no, no, there he is. He's right there. There's uh, Gordon. Um, the blue coins can only be done in normal mode, but these upgrades you can actually get in infantile. So if you're truly terrible at the Super Adventure Box, even at this point after having watched this whole series and knowing basically everything about it, um, you can... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. The bomb, the bomb thing's over here. Uh, you can actually get these upgrades in infantile and they'll maybe help you out if you finally try to go to normal. Okay, so we already have the block pushed, it seems, I guess. That save from last time we were here. So we'll move up. Okay, here's the cannon. Do you guys see anyone or anything? I don't. Not just yet. Here we go. We'll launch us to this. And then we have the poison maze. So, I don't actually have any potions. So that could be a real problem if we're being asked to go through the maze. Do you guys see anything back there? I certainly don't. Alright. Oh, this maze is such a pain. I will try this one. Oh, we only have one life as well. Uh, let me just try over here for a second. There's, there's no chance that it's just a freebie outside of the maze. Okay, I think we've got to go through it. All right, ready? We're gonna clip the camera under the water and get ready. Okay. We just gotta find the tiny little thing that you can jump on right at the back here. Just continue jumping up and down. Oh, hold on, is this changed? Is this easier now? I don't remember that being so evident. Wasn't that embedded in the ground before? Oh, but we're still, we're still struggling. We might take too much damage. Oh, okay, we're in the smoky area. Is it going to get dangerous now? Come on, keep jumping. Don't stop, Brax. Don't stop. Uh-oh, I think we went the wrong way. I think we went the wrong way. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Damn it. Yeah, it was right here. We didn't go the wrong way. It was there. Ah! All right, I'm going to buy some potions here. Oh, but we don't really have the baubles. How many can we afford? One potion. Refill two hearts. All right, this might be all we need. I'm going to go back up. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we just had to drink the potion. Got to the smoky area. Okay. Just keep going along into this corner. No, no, no. We've gone the wrong way. We've gone the wrong way. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do this. Oh, we had to go forward. I went left too early. That was the problem. Okay, and now it's onto this. And then up there. Damn it. How have I missed this? Up? There it is. Oh, no, I fell over the other side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, so close. Oh, I messed up so badly. Ah, the maze. Damn it. All right, we get game over. I need to get some more baubles as well. There'll be a bit of a big cut on this one, guys, because, yeah. Um, let's use five continue coins. Uh, I need to get some currency or something. Or do we just try it again? No, let's get some currency. Okay, so just popping over to uh, the traders here. You notice the raccoon that I looked at outside, by the way, is inside as well now also. Not holographic anymore. <clears throat> but we're going to come to this guy uh, in the middle. Oh, wrong one. And we're going to scroll down to this here. We're going to trade my bauble bubbles from the other years in. We'll pick up three. So that gives us 750. And what that means now is we can go buy the uh, heart potions and move on. What you just saw me do there is a pretty cheesy thing you can do on your own adventures on subsequent characters. Uh, and we could have done this series, but I'd rather not. Okay, so we come to the shopkeeper. We buy a potion. I genuinely only think I need one potion. Maybe even none if I get the timing of the jumps perfect. And we get just a little bit lucky and I don't go in the wrong direction. But let's just stack up here. Five should be fine. And uh, let's let's see what we've got. Third time's the charm. Let's do it. Okay, right. So what we do is we don't take the first left. You go right instead. Now we're here. We've got plenty of time. We jump onto this and we're up. Okay. We still got three potions, so we just come along here and plenty of hearts. See, that time I didn't take any damage. And then we do this jump. Okay. Oh, it's so smoggy and dark and scary in this area. Right. Oh, yeah, there were snakes and things. It probably is a very good thing that we came back without this. So here, if I try and uh, come here, throw, jump and throw the bomb like that. Oh, he just walked in range, I think, there, though. 
Nice. Okay, so we get him. We get 50 damage on that bomb. And remember that because we're about to upgrade it. So, uh, yeah. All right. We get the life here. And I guess just keep our eyes out for if anything's changed. I've, I've still not seen anything. It's kind of worrying. Jeez, <laughs> uh, there's just a billion snakes in this area. You want to look on the far end? Nothing so far. That's where we cannoned up. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. I, I got so confused there. I was looking for ages. I was like, hold on. I don't see anything. What's going on? But here, look at how camouflaged that is over here in this corner. So it's at the back of this section of the maze, which is kind of a weird part, honestly, of this whole area. Because, you know, I never asked to actually wade through this with these snakes. They just let you climb up here. But, okay, so right down in this corner is a newly added chest. Okay, we do get a platform. Where we Imagine if that was our last bit of heart. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so we get a chest. It looks like one of the normal ones you'd use keys on, but instead we can interact with it. And it says, oh, this chest is closed, but there are no locks. You must, you, you must need a secret key and mini bombs. Interesting. There are no locks, but we need a key. <laughs> what is the secret key then? I, it looks like a key in the UI, doesn't it? Uh, oh, no, it doesn't necessarily look just like a key. It looks like a talisman of some kind, maybe. Anyway, so, yeah, if we have the mini bomb up lock from else, unlock from elsewhere, and we have the secret key, I have them both. We get this option. This is too secret for me. Oh, yeah, look at this. We don't have any more opportunities to see that animation. You open the chest with hope. Inside is mega bombs. Awesome. So, if you look at our UI now, we have a much bigger bomb there. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. It's just bigger. And now, when we hit skill three... We'll, instead of having mini bombs here that we can just press, you'll see two of the slots are now filled in. Mega bombs are on two. And just like with minis, we can throw them or we can place them by holding it down. They, they function exactly the same. So uh, I don't know whether this is because it's like a 2019 update where the devs have got less time to work on stuff. I, I don't know whether this was always just the idea. But basically, it just is a mini bomb that does way more damage. It hits twice as hard. It's worth double. Okay, so uh, it also costs more baubles, right? So when I place this down, you'll see it cost me five. And it cost me five to throw, while a mini bomb still only cost me one. So this is five times more expensive to throw in exchange for double damage. And you may or may not think that that's uh, valuable, depending on the circumstance that you're in. Uh, but so if I throw this at this snake now... You'll see we hit him for 100. Not so relevant here in this world where most things die quickly anyway. I mean, Christ's snake dies in just a regular mini bomb. But in the next world where things start getting more dangerous, you've got the bananas and the ninjas and whatnot. Well, there, maybe mega bombs are going to be a lot more worthwhile. Uh, the other thing you might be thinking about are the honeycombs and the bosses you can fight. Well, Mega Bombs don't do increased damage to those. So it's not like a fastest ever way now of killing King Toad and whatnot. I think it does work on the Yeti, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Upgrade one of the Mega Bombs and Bract is almost back to be being complete. But that's not all. Obviously, if we have a look in our achievements, you've got that done. And now there's also Super Adventurer's Quest 2. So, I know what you're thinking. I'll probably just do that in another video. No, let's do it now. Why not? Same situation. Find secret items and trade our way up. We're going to be starting off with the legendary cheese, which is buried next to a racing cactus. Interesting. So, that's going to be next to Gordon. But if this is like a World 2 thing, is that going to be World 2? Zone 1? Zone 2? I mean, there's millions of Gordons. There's one on right here. Should we dig next to this, this one and see? Do you have cheese next to you, Gordon? No? Right on top of you, maybe? <laughs> this seems a bit weird. Okay, it's a World 2 thing. So let's go to the start of World 2. Find the first Gordon there and check it out. I guess that means that um, we can't do step one here on Infantile. Or maybe we can. We just wouldn't necessarily see Gordon to figure out where to dig. But we could do it nonetheless. Oh, man, I may have just said that I get a lot of nostalgia from that other world, but this is such a good world. I love the rushing rabbits. Okay, so he's right here. So what, we'll just dig? Oh, there you go. It worked. Okay, fine. All right, cool. So we just got the legendary cheese. Why that's next to him, I don't know. But you'll notice 
as you mouse ahead that these are all food related. We're going to trade the cheese for cake, I guess, and then the cake for a fabled drumstick, and then the fabled drumstick for an epic apple. And then I don't know how an apple helps us get the incredible prize. Uh, but okay, I guess one step at a time. It's interesting to me that the devs let us mouse over all of these early because they do have the tech in the game to hide future objectives until we get to them. Uh, you know, this is like a spoiler, really, to read ahead, isn't it? Okay, so Mythic Cake. Rescue the trespasser frozen by a yeti. Oh, wow. So, hold on. They've added something at the yeti. Huh. Well, um, let's see. This stuff's available in infantile. The yeti is at the end of a really long level. So, what about let's go to the Yeti on Infantile instead. Now, I can't remember, and you guys will remember this really clearly in a very, very weird uh, twist here, because you will have watched the video quite recently. I can't remember whether when we did this in the Stormtop, we uh, showed off how quickly it can be completed in Infantile. I'm sure I would have mentioned the trivia. But uh, here, at least, you may get to see it. Uh, basically, they can skip you to the Yeti super fast with a teleporter. Uh, that's quite incredible to see. So, let's see. Uh, we'll look for the Mythic Cheese in baby mode. Oh, dear. So here, you'll see the Rainbow Road has taken us all the way up to here. And there's a happy face next to this teleporter, which when we go into it, we it takes you so far, you hit a loading screen, and there's the Yeti. So again, if I'm repeating myself because we showed that before, then I apologize. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. We're at the Yeti. What was it? We need to rescue the trespasser frozen by a Yeti. Does that mean kill the Yeti? Or does that mean... I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. We can try out our Mega Bombs against him as well. There you go. Yeah, look, we get the double damage against the Yeti. That's nice. Okay, cool. Right, so before I go into that teleporter and that's to the final boss of the level, let's uh, have a little snoop around and see what we can see. Now, there was a secret room here, and quite often with the other ones, the secret rooms were what was mattering, so... Oh, well, hold on, mind you. <laughs> so, just to cut back in here, what I've been trying to do is get back to that checkpoint there. I even died doing this. Uh, and trying to, like, jump ahead to see if it was just before. I was trying to jump dodge, but I have just noticed. <laughs> Obviously, we have this here. So, let's try the 332331. Three, three, oh, are we, are we too far away? 332331. Three, 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 there we go. Oh, okay, hold on. This is. Uh, oh, I feel like such an idiot. Guys, you have no idea how long I was just trying to do that jump. Okay, hold on. Uh, so, we were in this room before. No icicles fall down, right? Uh, and they've added a new ice block. What was the note again? An ice block. Rescue the trespasser frozen by a yeti. <coughs> Wait, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Isn't there... Um, well, we can play the Shatter Serenade, right? What on earth was a Shatter Serenade? 332331 three, 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 was open the door. It was one... It was either 122122 two, two, or 11... One, one, or 133133. Three, three. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think it was 133133. Three, three. Nice! Okay. Oh, man. That feels pretty good. I'm glad I, I thought of shattering the thing. Okay, it's a raccoon. Hello! The raccoon looks at you gratefully. Oh, I'm sure you do. Give it the legendary cheese to help it recover from the chill. Look, why didn't they make this moto? Could have had this be the legendary soup or something, right? Because soup would recover him from the chill. How does cheese recover? He's not even a, like a mouse. What do raccoons like to eat? I don't know. Rubbish? Garbage? The legendary uh, garbage we should have got? Anyway, so give it the cheese to it to recover from the chill. He gives you cake in gratitude. How nice. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. That was actually really tricky. Come all the way to the Yeti. you got to play a song to get in, and you got to think to shatter him. 
Is the whole quest chain on this one going to be a lot harder? Next, we want to use the secret song to reach the picnic in the cliffs. Okay, so, I mean, it says cliffs. I'm guessing this is going to be zone two. We've already had a thing in zone one. We've had a zone here. It's going to be zone two, the pain cliffs, right? Use a secret song to reach a picnic in the cliffs. That doesn't really ring any bells. Let's go on in and see. You know, I'm somewhat tempted to do this in infantile now. <laughs> Just because that was so comfortable. Actually, I kind of want to. Oh, it's too late now. Never mind. Yeah, because the, the pain cliffs is such a huge level. And what, what are we looking for? A picnic. I mean, I don't know where that could be. That's going to be so far away. I'm wondering if we've got to go all the way to the, the raccoon boss at the end of the maze and, like, take him out there, maybe somewhat. Uh, let's read it again. Is there any more of a hint? Progeny tip use a secret a secret song to reach the picnic in the cliffs. So assuming pain cliffs is correct. It's such a big level. But the other thing here is it does say secret song. So that's the song. Um, obviously, we, we have the door open song. You've got the shatter serenade. There's also like that first song you get, which I told you guys about and is a bit lame. It's just one, two, three, I think it is. Yeah, it's one, two, three. I r recognize the sound of this. Uh, you guys probably can't hear that very well. But uh, this was the kind of the lame song that just puts Moto's face on stuff and tells you where to go. So, but doesn't act, you know, it just shows you secrets. It doesn't actually unlock things. Do you think that in 2019, the devs basically decided they want us to use this for something? But I mean, ow. What's, oh, no, no, it was just an owl stealing thing. But I mean, what do we do? I mean, just run through the whole zone? It's so big. Well, that, uh, and looking for new things. Is that new over there immediately? Because <laughs> I'm going to have to have a perfect memory of what this zone looked like. Like, is this... Is this new up here? Let me have a look here. Because doesn't the zone take us off over there? So what's this here? The other ones have been at the start, of course. Is generally, right? A lot of them have been. And there was never really a reason to climb this tree. Oh, look, look, look. There is something. What? Okay. Oh, it's a little infantile cloud. Oh, it's got little music notes next to it. Okay, so wait, is this... was it? This wasn't always here, was it? Because the level takes us up here to that, and then that big white wall there on the other side of it, that's where the, the first weight puzzle is and stuff, I think. Oh, no, maybe I'm skipping a bit. The first ninja towers are there, and then the weight puzzle is beyond. This isn't shortcut bird here, is it? Well, hold on, what is this? So, hold on. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What did it say? Use the secret song to recook picnic in the cliffs. Oh my god, I'm so happy I found this. Honestly, when I was climbing this tree... Oh, look, there's an adventure notebook. What is this? This book contains a crudely, crudely scrawled picture of a Gordon the Racing Choya holding a flag past two octopuses. Oh, look, it's telling us where Gordon is on this map. He must have set up his adventure further into this zone. What? Oh, this is badass. I thought that would have been a hint. Yeah, I was climbing this tree. I honestly thought that this was a way forward almost. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So let's climb back up and what? Play the song next to the cloud? I was properly ready there to edit. Uh, I'm not going to lie, and quickly sneak back to the hub, go into infantile mode. Because as I loaded in, I was like, wow, yeah, it's a huge level. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. So one, two, three. But we may have found it anyway. One, two, three. What? Oh, it's a new area. Okay. Oh, oh, they're breaking. Oh, you got to be quick. Oh, oh uh, they toggle. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, it's kind of scary. So we're going to get a... Are they going to make me jump? Are they going to do the timing so that I have to be in midair? Oh, before the next one comes. Okay. Oh, this is brilliant. This is exactly what I wanted. New areas to go to. I mean, there's not new assets. It's not like we get to go to a desert or something. But still, this is pretty badass. Okay. They, they seem to be quite forgiving with the timing here as well. So what? There's going to be a picnic here, is there? Oh, look. There's lots of little happy clouds. Oh, it started with a cloud. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, I was wondering as well whether this was going to be in, um, like, near one of the furniture shops because they've not taken us to any. Oh, they're having a picnic. What? Oh, I want to jump on them and make them poo out rainbows. Hold on. Oh, look, 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 look. Hey, and they wanted food, right? This picnic basket is full of drumsticks but has no dessert. We have dessert. We have mythic cake from the raccoon who wanted the legendary cheese. Give... 
It, why is give in all caps? Give it the cake to round out the meal. It's like we're playing like a mud or something. Like these, are, these are important commands we're typing in. The happy cloud motions for you to take a drumstick. Yeah, look, Super Adventures Quest 2. Next step. Dude, that's fun. Well, is there anything else I can do up here? Oh, these guys don't have collision. That's weird. Okay, uh, I guess not. Is this like a shortcut maybe? Yeah, look, look, look. You see that there? That's like shortcut bird and stuff on the other side. Wow. So it almost feels like an extra way through the level now, but not quite. They obviously don't want us doing that. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. So what's down here? Is this a way back? Or is this just a horrible dead end? Oh, we died. Well, there was a ground there. Damn it. Okay, fine. All right. So next one done. I am so thrilled that immediately as, as soon, I was just basically expected to run through looking for changes and this didn't look right immediately. What was this like last year back there? I really want to know. What did that look like? I have to go back to one of those earlier videos. Well, fine, whatever. Next, the epic apple. A bee dog can reach the secret tree in the... Ah, oh, in the hub. Okay. Oh, so wait. Adventurer's Quest 1 didn't have us become a bee, but this one is having us become a bee. So wait, do I have to wait then for the race to trigger? Or can you become a bee at any point now? Maybe we're lucky with the timing. Let's see. Where's Sonic? He's up here. The super race announcer. Doesn't look like one's currently going on. So if we want to become a bee dog in the hub, obviously I've already shown this off. We just need to... There will be a race soon. Please be patient, but not slow. All right, fine. I'm going to go up there and see if I can become a bee dog anyway. And if not, then there'll just be a really long edit until I can. I'll see. Oh, well, here, look. I'm just trying to get into the cannon, and it gave me the notification that the race is about to begin. And by about to begin, it means in two minutes. So uh, this is pretty good timing. I can check if I can become a bee dog without it. As long as we don't mess up that jump. Okay, good. Uh, and if I can't, then I just I have to leave and then come back. But it's not the worst thing in the world. It looks like it is sort of active there. Hello, everyone. I freaking love the B-Dog Idol animations. Oh, we can. Okay, cool. We don't need the race. All right. So, what was it? It was become a B-Dog and then reach the secret tree in the hub. Secret tree? Have they added? Wait. So, it's a thing that you can only get to if you have the power of flight. So, it's either going to be really high up. Or it's going to be like low down and there's like a tunnel under like a ledge or a lip of something that you can only get to as a bee because otherwise, you know, you could never fall in the correct way. So I guess, I guess I'll check the top. Well, this is clearly just normally accessible. I can be a bee forever, right? I'm not on a timer as a bee. <laughs> I hope not. I hope when the race begins, I don't get, just get kicked out as well. Um, the secret tree. It's called a secret tree, though. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit more hidden than all that. What if it's, like, way out on one of these? Like, off in one of the corners? That would be so badass if they did that. Like, there's just a tree out on one of these. I don't remember there being a tree on one of these last year. So could that be an update, maybe? I mean, there are islands. Oh, it's a lot of flying. It could take a long time. Look at that. Oh, man. The Super Adventure Box looks cool from far away. Um, I guess I will super speed this. Let's see. I'm going to do a, the, the full way around the box. Let's see. No, I think this is the last corner. I don't see any trees. I have just become intrigued. I like this idea of going low, and I have just become intrigued by all the textures here. Like, what I'm trying to say is, imagine if there's, like... Imagine if there was an entrance right here that you could only squeeze through if you were the bee, because trying to fall to it, you'd fall past. Do you know what I mean? So maybe I'll check these. And then maybe... Oh, here's the tribulation cloud again. Well, it's not going to be here, is it? Maybe... Uh, or maybe it won't be on the edges at all because they already did the tribulation cloud. It's kind of a similar thing. What if it's, like, in the... In the cave? Maybe, like, on the ceiling in the cave? I don't think I've ever seen a tree in there, though. And we've been in there twice today already. Should we have a look? I mean, this is a weird idea, being a bee dog that comes in here. So maybe that's exactly what... Well, there is a... Oh, my God! There is a tree, and it's interactable! Wow! Okay, hold on, hold on. So what... So can we get to this in any other way without being a bee dog? I guess you can't, right? 
I guess not. Oh, this is really clever. This is very, very, very clever. So, I can't press F as a B. So, I have to stop flying. If I get the positioning wrong when I do this, we have to do the whole thing again. All right. Oh, wow. This tree looks healthy. With the right nutrients, it might bear fruit. Hold on. We did all of this to get a drumstick for a tree. <laughs> Give the drumstick as fertilizer. Well, this is insane. An apple from the tree falls at your feet. I'll take this as thanks. <laughs> I like we go through this whole ridiculous contrived mess just to get an apple that we probably could have picked from the tree anyway. Okay, so the epic apple. The final question will be, how does this give us a boomerang? Uh, I love it. It's so ridiculous. Okay, the prize dispenser is set up at the end of the rapids. Okay, so back to zone one. I guess the end of, of zone one, since it did just say the end of the rapids. I mean, I know that's not a particularly interesting observation I just made there, but it's got to be it, right? Uh, crap, I should have jumped straight onto the thing. All right, uh, I'll see you guys in the, the rapids then, and we'll uh, charge through that. I probably will do infantile mode, though. I probably will. Oh, damn it. Uh, in fact, you know what? I can cheesily get back up by going to character select and logging back in. Beautiful. Yeah, so let's do infantile mode rapids and just go to the end and see what comes up. That should be easy, right? No, it didn't work. I thought it would put me at a new spawn point. Damn it. <laughs> I guess that just goes to show that this, the hub is just like open world Tyria. It is not a dungeon or it is not an instance. It's just another like dimension, if you will, like, uh... Like Heart of the Mists. Okay, wait. Can I just climb out of this? I've never done this. I've never climbed out of that cave like that. Oh, they actually gave it as an option, though. Nice. All right, back into World 2. This is the last one for our next upgrade. Boomerang, by the way. A weird bit of um, uh, trivia, I guess. A, a weird story in my life. I'm a big fan of Naughty Dog's Crash Bandicoot games. After it got sold, it wasn't too good anymore, right? But uh, I was a big fan. And in fact, I played the remake on PS4 this year. Uh, of Crash 3 Warped, right? I love Crash 3 Warped. And back in the day, um, there's a mechanic in that game where you get a bazooka uh, at some point in the game and you can fire it and stuff. Back in the day, uh, we used to buy cheat books that you would read and they would tell you codes to input in games and secrets in games that, uh, you know, were things you didn't know about. Uh, this was before the internet, right? Uh, was, at least for me as uh, a, a young kid, uh, or even quite an old kid, I guess, uh, I, I wasn't very savvy with it. Eventually, I moved on to the uh, amazing days of game FAQs, but before then, it was all cheat books and stuff, right, for all the old PS1 games and stuff. And uh, cheat books could quite often be wrong about stuff. I remember one of the cheat books I had said you could get a net gun in Tomb Raider 4 if you did the right thing on one of the tutorials levels and uh one of the things i was led astray on for years and believed even quite far into my adulthood until i looked back at warped was that this cheat books had said you could get a boomerang instead of a bazooka in crash 3 if wow it just occurred to me that we're already here jesus you could get a boomerang instead of a bazooka if you played the whole game up to the point where you would get the bazooka, but you didn't collect any Wumpa fruit, you didn't collect any currency, it would be like us playing Super Adventure Box up to the point of getting the flute without picking up a single bauble. And then instead of unlocking the bazooka, you would unlock a boomerang instead. And the idea of the boomerang was that it was just like the bazooka, except it didn't cost currency. Anyway, I believed this for so long and tried to get it for so long, only to find out it was a complete load of arse. And it, it's weird for me to look back on that, that cheat books could do stuff like that and say nonsense that just blatantly wasn't true. And I don't know whether my, my memory is just totally wrong about that. I imagine that that happened more than it did. Or I was just too young to realize these cheat books were writing in wry little jokes. Like another one was like the, the whole phenomenon of the naked Lara cheat from like Tomb Raider 1 or whatever. Which obviously was never true. People eventually like modded those games to add them <laughs> if they were really so inclined but uh you know i remember that being like a big phenomenon it just seems very weird to me these days that you would publish blatantly wrong stuff was it just cheap books were so pressured to get new editions out so fast they were like little you know pocket books really um that they never really fact checked they never really had play players testing and checking all these things out so rumors ended up getting printed as fact Weird stuff. Anyway, so yeah, let's keep going through the level and uh, get our final upgrade. A real boomerang. So it makes me kind of happy that ArenaNet added a proper one. That satisfies a certain itch that's been in me for many years. So I do have one thought. 
and I'm pretty sure I showed this off when we were last here. Near the end of the level, there's the cage, right? There is this area up behind the cage that's never been used for anything. And I don't know, if I was Arena Net, I think I'd probably put something there now, right? What was the hint again? It said the prize dispenser is set up at the end of the rapids. So maybe we find a prize dispenser there. Knowing the Super Adventure Box, it says prize dispenser, and it's not actually a prize dispenser. I mean, what? It'll be like <laughs> just an NPC, just a guy that's called prize dispenser in the weird, like, fun, strange, broken English way that Super Adventure Box does things. Ah, uh, oh, this is so comfortable going through this without actually having to do any of the, uh, you know, Frogger style stuff. All right, so we're pretty much at the end now. Uh, sorry, I thought there was something going on there, but it was just the animation. So before I go onto the cage, let's check this because I don't know whether we can get back up easily. I don't want to kill Brack too many times. Let's go here. Come up under this. There was just not much reason for this place. Oh, no, no, that totally is a prize. Oh, it's like the vending machine at the start of the Super Adventure Box. Okay, Hillbilly. For a magic apple, I will repair the vending machine. A magic apple like this one, we say? He says, thank you. I will repair the machine right away. That last one actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense that Hillbilly would want an apple to eat. And it makes sense that he would fix the vending machine. So hold on. Super Adventure Quest done. Why is the last one a question mark? Uh, as though it's some kind of secret when you can just mouse over anyway. So what? We press F on the vending machine? Trading boomerang for whip. All right, okay, so I do know how this works, right? I'll trade my whip, we say. And we get a boomerang. Oh, no, no, there is. Oh, man, the, sorry, I didn't show the model very well. Radical. Okay, so when we got the Mega Bomb upgrade, it obviously it equipped it as a whole new skill bar that then the devs can just, you know, we can have multiple mom bombs available all the time. But the way that the whip works is you just press it and it fired off, right? You would just whip away. It wouldn't... You didn't equip the whip to then use the whip afterwards. So to uh, make this conform with the upgrade, what basically happens is you have to pick one or the other. It's like this is the first little element of build craft in the Super Adventure Books, really. And now we take this into any world. If we want to change it again, we have to come all the way back here. So it's an interesting decision on the devs part to put this at the end of the zone. But let's see what this looks like. Oh, it goes out pretty far. It genuinely goes out pretty far, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, I really like it. This is cool. Okay, and so just like the whip, this also stuns. So if we can find an enemy to use it on, that would be pretty cool. Uh, but now we basically have a much longer range stun. And I wonder, does it double stun? Does it go out, stun, and then come back in and stun? Uh, we hit this checkpoint, so I can't really kill myself. Uh, isn't there a flower that... Yeah, if we jump on this, this is a flower that takes us back to the level, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a bear over there. Let's use it on this bear and see if we get a double stun. So, stunning from so far away is awesome. Oh, look, it tries to follow us as well. Oh, it's like Phoenix. This is cool. This feels really good. Oh, look, the double stun. So, hold on. Can I, can I double stun? Whoa. Look at that. This is OP. This is so strong. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Why would you ever want to go back to the whip? I guess they just leave it as an option there for you. I mean, you don't get to go... And it's AoE as well? Was there... Where is the balance team? Where is the super... The moto balance team? Not not doing their jobs properly. This is crazy. Wow, what an upgrade. Okay, so there you go. That's the Super Adventurers Quest 2. That's, uh, that's the 2019 stuff, guys, really. The races and the addition of these. Will next year finally we see access to this underground cave system, to this, this, or even beyond. And now, when they add these extra worlds, presumably two more worlds, will they get their own super adventurer's quests with upgrades? I guess we'll see. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll be back when the devs add some more. See you next time.